this is a new phenomenon that we're seeing and i'm so glad awaken with jp is making fun of it but the title of this is my girlfriend is trans but i'm not gay i've seen this come going around where these guys are dating dudes who are identifying as ladies and they're like no 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 i'm not gay because that's a woman it's hilarious so I, I'm very excited to see this version of that scenario because it's never not funny. It's so ridiculous. And JP does a good job, and it looks like he's got the uh, he's got the a comedian guy in there with him. So this is gonna be great. I will be leaving the link in the description for this. Oh man, they didn't even shave the beard. That's the greatest. Oh, man. This is Jesse. He fell in love with Cassidy. I'm a proud trans woman. I think the main misconception that people have with our relationship is that he's gay. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey. You're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. I'm. I'm an alpha male that's attracted to femininity, and that's exactly what I got right here. This is Jason. He fell in love with Julie. My name's Jason. This is my girlfriend, Julie. I'm a woman. Oh. Are you? Yeah, I'm a woman. I'm a trans woman. Julie doesn't look or smell any different than a real woman. That's oh, I'm man, sorry. the outfit is so much worse. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, man. The nutters or the, the crop top sports bra. Oh, man. I, I got to adjust my eyeballs. Burning for a minute there. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh. Attracted to her. Jason was raised in a strict household that believed in basic biology and physiological facts. One thing I was definitely taught growing up is that only women can be women and that men definitely can't be women. And that if you truly want to be with a woman, then you probably shouldn't be with a man. And I was also taught that if you're with a man, then you're gay. And they also said there's nothing wrong with that. It was painful. It was just such a conservative household filled with hate. Oh, sweet. Hey, come on. Their relationship has caused a stir. I'd say the main misconception is that Jason is somehow gay. I'm definitely not gay. Not even a little bit. <laughs> so this is like a crazy unique story. Jason and I actually met on Instagram. I'm like quite, you know, obsessed with attention on myself and people to validate my self-worth. So oh. I like to humbly uh, flaunt myself and my body on OnlyFans and IG. So Jason being the uh, romantic that he is, he slid into my DMs, right? And the first thing I noticed was that he was giving me attention. And that's actually what made me fall for him, like instantly. Dude, this is... They're not even, they're not even really blowing it out of proportion. This is exactly what those, what those interviews are. It's, it's, a, you know, a basket case with mental issues. I mean, it's big time mental issues, daddy issues, personal identity issues. And then they fall for the alpha male dude that slid into their dms and gave them some attention like that was how it happened oh my gosh it's painful but but this is like true true story there's been a bunch of these and the conversation's basically the same every time but usually they don't go so far as to be a heavily bearded guy oh man puddle says I mean, if a guy was attracted to Blair White, I could see their point. It's still gay. I mean, it's, that's, you, you do you. It's fine. It's still gay. It's still gay. But this is the next level. I mean, you're not fooling anybody. You got the full beard, chest hair, and just, 
Oh, it's so awkward. I'm an alpha male. I messaged her right away to let her know I love how she expresses her intellect by posting pictures of her body while looking as though she doesn't know that the camera that she set up on oh. an auto timer is taking pictures of her. And I told her that she's beautiful. We were about one or two messages deep and she said, do you remember this baby? Yeah. She's, yeah. <laughs> she said, you know, I, I need to tell you something and I'm sorry if this changes the dynamic, but she said, I'm a trans woman. And I said, sweetheart, that doesn't change things at all. You are a woman. And I know you're a woman because you just told me to think that. It was a beautiful moment. Um, oh. I felt accepted and like I had complete and utter control over Jason and his thoughts. I've never met a woman who was as into cars and football as I am. Babe, I used to play football. Come on. <laughs> I was a tight end. Which is also, I'll say, what he likes about me. Oh. The main misunderstanding people have with our relationship oh. is that people actually think he's gay. I mean, I'm not gay. What? I'd say his friends and family had a really difficult time when we first got together. Um, I think they had a hard time understanding exactly how not gay he is. So, Russell, when. Nah, dude, this. It's not a it's not a parody. It's not a parody. They're just having the exact same interview <laughs> that all of these couples are having. Oh, it just Ah. Oh. We're in such a weird time that this is even a thing. Oh, it's so weird. Julie and I first got together. What did you think about our relationship? Well, at first I was happy that you found a loving relationship. And did you think like, I'm gay? <sighs> That's a lot to process. Um, I mean, initially we thought so. It was kind of like, oh wow, Jason's gay. We, did, we just never knew that. Uh, and now what do you think? Oh, oh, I still think you're gay. Yeah. I'm not gay. He's not gay. Oh no, you're misunderstanding. See, I don't care that you're gay. I'm not gay. Uh, well, me and all your friends and family love gay people. I mean, we love you just as much as if you were straight. What? I'm not gay. Well, it seems like you're kind of acting homophobic towards yourself. No, no one else cares that you're gay. <laughs> Stop it. Russell, you just don't understand at all. Like in the beginning, I even asked Julie, am I gay? And what she told me is, well, tell him, sweetheart. Well, yeah, we were banging out and I was like, babe, you're not gay. And that's when I realized, like, yeah, I am a straight alpha male. I'm not gay. I love how he keeps saying alpha male. That's the, that's the ticket, man. <laughs> the, I'm an alpha male. <laughs> I'm dating a trans woman. It's very alpha, man. It's so alpha. At all. He's attracted to my femininity. Oh, uh, yeah. Which makes me so hard. Question. <laughs> Do you suck Julie's you-know-what? Well, yeah, but... Is it's small because of all the hormones? <laughs> Tiny. It's like a Tootsie Roll. All right, man. Oh, Russell, I, I need you to tell me I'm not gay. Tell him he's not gay. Okay, you're you're not gay. The angry. I don't know if I can share this. It's like a Tootsie Roll, bro. No, no. Hey, Jason. See, told you I'm not gay. Told oh. you. I'm curious. Would you subscribe to my OnlyFans? I'm just trying to get the numbers up a little bit. It really helped. This relationship has been a very refreshing and affirming experience. I mean, I always knew I was a woman. I think probably ever since I was about one years old, um, somebody put a doll into my arms and I held it for two seconds and my parents immediately put me on a hormones. She's always been a woman and she even plays on an all women's basketball team right now. She's very womanly. I dominate. So good. Julie has changed my world. Jason is the first person that's actually treated me like a real woman. I mean, he takes all of my photos for my Instagram and my OnlyFans. You're so beautiful. I just want the world to know two things. One, Love is possible no matter who you are. And two, I desperately want the world to know that I'm definitely not gay. That part's really important to me. Oh my God. 
That was the funniest thing I've seen in a long time. I've seen these conversations and these interviews with real people and the delusion level of all parties involved is through the roof. I mean, you got the the trans woman that's like, I'm femininity, femininity incarnate. And then the dude is like, yeah, I'm an alpha and I'm totally not gay because I'm with this trans woman and she's a feminine object of desire and I'm attracted to the femininity. So obviously I'm not gay, <laughs> even if I'm polishing the knob. Oh my God, dude, <laughs> that's so bad. That's so bad in every, every aspect.